In June of 2023, Camp Virtuosi landed in New York City and brought with it 27 brilliantly talented students from four countries and eight states. They were all between the ages of 6 and 12 and between the levels of Book 2 and Mendelssohn Concerto. Eight lucky faculty members tagged along for this ride. And the shenanigans began immediately. day at camp, we had many classes divided out by age and level. Everyone participated in a small ensemble and a large ensemble. We also had technique class every day, which was Elizabeth's favorite. Besides musical classes, every day we welcomed one special guest. We had an acting class where we learned about stepping outside of our comfort zone and really going for it, what it means to communicate to our audience. We had Tai Chi class that was a big favorite and we learned how to focus and concentrate and use our brain and our body. We had bucket drumming where we learned about rhythm and how it fits together. And we had watercolor where we listened to all four periods of music and painted what we heard. Okay, what do we think? Butterflies. Butterflies, they got it. Good job, okay. Well, I do too. What, what else do we like? Yeah. Technique. The technique. <laughs> You wow. like the technique. What do you like about the technique? Different ways that you can play. Isn't that interesting? Scales and slurs, different types of sounds. Yeah. What else do we like? Yeah. You like everything. You say with me, everything. Everything beautiful. What a, Stella, what do you like about the fire? Judd, Yuna. Amara, Anya. Anya, Josie. Josie, Claire. Claire, Claire. Josie, 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 Tai Chi was a wonderful class where we learned to be aware of our body and how it moved, and we also talked about breathing and what it's like to be on stage. Each class had a special listening music history period with Michael every day. Can someone tell me who wrote this piece of music? J.S. Bach. Ooh. J.S. Bach. Give it to J.S. 
every day we had two extremely competitive Jeopardy games going on. It got a little bit intense, but everyone learned a lot. Oh, sorry. She already knew before I said the crazy part. Okay. Okay. What is it? You gotta see the whole thing. You're you you you're the you're Fabaldi, the captain. Fabaldi, Fabaldi, Fabaldi. You have to. Stella's gonna give me the answer. Hang on. No. Which one? The green team. Okay. Um, Bossy Miner. Yes. Five, two, three, four, five, and now he picks up the violin, and now he's going to go into this perfect teenager scale. And a ship. And every day we had technique class! Woo! We play the violin, we're like a tree. A tree. And our feet are what? The roots? Yeah. Oh. Our feet are the yeah. roots. And they go into the ground and they're really strong. And remember what Edie did yesterday that was really good? She went like that. Can you do it for everybody? So you can really feel the ground. And yesterday we talked about how sometimes when we practice, we're in all weird positions. Show us some weird positions that we practice in. <laughs> we do the flamingo, right? All of us. And so, uh oh, go back to the tree. Then, what are our legs as part of the tree? Remember the word I forgot? Yeah. The word is trunk. The trunk of the tree is really strong. Those are the legs, okay? Look how strong his legs are. So if you go outside and you try to blow over a tree like with your hands or like blow on it, you're not gonna blow over a tree, right? So watch, I'm gonna try to move Colton. Whoa, I'm pushing pretty hard actually. He's like rock solid. Okay, so then we come up to this part. This is still the trunk. What are our arms? the branches of the tree. So all the time, our teachers, thank you, you can sit down. Very good. Squishier, 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 good. Your personal goal is squishy at the frog. Say it out loud. Squishy at the frog. <laughs> okay. Brandon, your personal goal is softer. Everything's softer, softer here. Yes, so, did you feel that? Softer here, softer and squishier. Say it out loud. Softer and squishier. Very good. Is that the frog? Or is that the froggish zone where frogs live? Very good. Softer. And pinky, strong. So your two goals are strong pinky and soft hand. Say it out loud. Strong pinky and strong and soft hand. Very good. Wrist is not the leader. Wrist is not the leader. Put your fingers closer together. Yes, show me. Uh, closer together. Ani. Don't rush. Josie. To make my bow hand squishier because Elizabeth had to use five pounds of weight to get me to do it. That's correct. I'll make my thumb squishier. Thumb squishier. Perfect. George. To not use Heifetz's bow hand. That's correct. <laughs> Wrist Colton. is not the leader. Wrist is not the leader. Is it the leader right now? Very good, Colton. Brandon. Hand squishy. Squishy hand. Steven. Squishy at the frog. Squishy at the frog. Show me. Show me. Strong pinky and squishy at the Let me see it. Beautiful. Shoulder. <laughs> pinky, I love it. Have my hand come over the bow. Yes. What's your goal? Consistency, yes. right? My, my goal is to actually get the hand every time in place when I come to the frog. 
squishier and softer. Softer and squishier. Huggers and strong pinky. That's right. Remember every single tip from last summer. Squishy pinky. Very good. Thumb in the right place. Let's move it in. Move in that thumb. Always replicate this bell hold every single time that I press. Um, replicate the bell hold every single time I get to the frog. Two scales? Listen, listen. Keep going. That is correct. How we feel music with Michael. Every day we had a master class where every child was excited to perform. Sometimes we turned it into little lessons with Elizabeth. One unexpected thing happened during our studio classes. All of the other kids wanted to give comments to help and be loving and nurturing. I was so proud. is responsible for going out and coming in. Lena. Um, yes! How did you know I was going to ask that? Are we cosmically connected? Okay. So, when we go out, what opens the door? Lena. Elbow. I bet you said elbow. And then what pushes out? Forearm, right? What does our upper arm do? Yeah, and I like the way they're not connected. Tell me about yours. What do you hear when you hear the Bach? Smooth, kind of. Yeah, lots of colors? Yeah. I notice that some of it's detached, which I like. It's beautiful. Our watercolor listening activity was amazing. So my Baroque, like it sounded really like pretty, but it was like really strong and had a really smooth like current of it, like an ocean wave. Wow. So I depicted like like the um, smoothness as blue, the roughness as red, and um, like the elegantness of the or song. Elegant, pink. I love that. Pink, and then. And then there was a lot of both, so yeah. I so I combined the colors and extended purple. Eyes. I love it. Okay, show us classical. Um, classical was really like pretty yeah. and smooth. Yeah. So like I did a bunch of like these pink dots. Yeah. But in, in between them, it was like kind of like a aggressive but like smooth style. Mm -hmm. Not like the baroque, but like more of a more of like a more like more vibrato. Yeah, like more, more singing pink. sound. Yeah, more yeah. singing. So I, I love those them shapes together. too. Yeah. Okay, what's next? Romantic? And yeah. I love the way you have a circle through all of yours, kind of like a theme. I love that. Yeah, so like the swirl, that's for like, it was really soft at the, uh -huh. soft at the beginning, of but the it got yeah. really, really loud. Yeah. So that's why the, the difference between each oh, line increased. Oh, your lines. I love and the, that. And it was really smooth. At the beginning, at least. Yeah. So I put some blue dots here, but then at like the middle, it was like really loud. Yeah. So I made a bunch of black. I put a bunch of black here. Okay, show me contemporary when we listen to George Crumb. Whoa. So like. This is amazing. There's more black here than any of the other stuff. <laughs> yeah. That's cause like um, it was really like loud and mm -hmm. kind of soft. Uh huh. And it made me remind me of like dots, like rain. Yeah, when it's light, right? Like light, like yeah. Okay, what about romantic? Um, reminded me of like decoration. It was so big, 
right? Like your swirls. Like I love that. I love the difference in the stroke because in the classical, it was the, it, it's everything short and crisp, and here everything is like smooth and there's more color. Okay, show me contemporary. <gasps> what happened there? It, so, it sounded crazy, right? Yeah. Everyone, listen to the Bach. Very interesting. I love the way that's so angular. Uh -huh. These are like like the dynamics for forte and uh -huh. piano, and it's major, so yeah. And then this is romantic. Yeah, bigger strokes. Okay, show us contemporary. It's like, look, these colors are like the different. So your strokes are not connected because of the sound, right? I love that. Different ages learned in different classes about the composers. Okay, Beethoven's death. <laughs> Will. And then he had no more money. And Costanza was like, where's all the money, Wolfie? And Wolfie would be like, okay. So Mozart was a genius, but also just like Beethoven, who we learned about yesterday, a little bit of what? Crazy. That's right. A lot crazy. And Mozart's music was very, very new. Mozart ushered in a new period of time. Tomorrow we're going to talk about Bach. We divided the students into four different ensembles based on age and level. And so the energy and the music flows from me to the leaders and flows out from the leaders to you all. And then you flow your energy back the other way, just like an alternating current. It's really awesome how that, and we feel that. So. That's actually what it is. It's a psychological energy we're sending out into the room. Concertmaster for Telemann and playing the Vivaldi for four violins. My favorite thing about camp is Jeopardy and bucket jumping. Um, uh, Elizabeth's stories, technique with Elizabeth, and meeting other people was so fun, so much fun. I like doing the activities. We, I like the activities we did every single day, like Tai Chi and watercoloring. Camp was an incredibly special and musical time for all of us. Violin came to us eight weeks long. Eight weeks long! 
I don't want violin camp to end. Playing Telemon with the whole camp. I like stickers, pens, and painting at camp. I like history in studio class. I like spending time with my friends and Elizabeth. Camp Virtuosi was a huge success and I'm thankful for everyone who joined us during our first year. The concert was very special, a showcase of solos followed by our four ensembles, then followed by a huge ice cream cake party with shirt signings and tons of photos. I'm so grateful to know each of these young spirits and be along for their journey in childhood and the violin. Through daily technique, two ensembles, musicianship, acting, tai chi, painting, bucket drumming, studio class, and performances. I feel like we conquered a year of work in just a week and had a complete blast every minute of the day. As you start the fall, please do not forget our quote from Pablo Casals. We should say to each child, do you know what you are? You are a marvel, you are unique. In all the years that have passed, there has never been another child like you. Your legs, your arms, your clever fingers, the way you move. You may become a Shakespeare, a Michelangelo, a Beethoven. You have the capacity for anything. Yes, you are a marvel. Okay, out. In, stop. Now lead with your heart, not your wrist. Yes! And then remember what we talked about in technique class? Soft it. Beautiful. Do it again by yourself. Good. Stop. Yes! 